أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This copy of the Quran should be in the house of every Muslim. If he doesn't understand Arabic as a language, he should have the translation of the copy of the Quran in the language he understands the best. If he understands English, he should have the English translation of the Quran. If he understands French, he should have French translation of the Quran. If he understands German, he should have German translation. If he understands Urdu, Urdu translation. The language he understands the best, every Muslim home should have the translation of the Quran in that language. This book, the Glorious Quran, is the best gift you can give to anyone, whether it be your friends, whether it be your relatives, whether it's a gift for marriage, whether it's a gift you're going to meet someone, whether it's a housewarming ceremony, it's the best gift you can give. It's the best gift even to a non-Muslim. You can give the copy of the Quran to a non-Muslim as the best gift. And it will be a guide for his life. The best gift that a parent can give to his child is the copy of the Quran. Not only give that, you should make him understand that. And it's very important that if the parents can see to it that they teach their children Arabic language so that they can understand the Quran directly, it is the best gift they can give to the children. Our parents didn't think it important that we should learn Arabic as a language. That is the reason we are here today. Otherwise, you know, to learn Arabic as a language is very important. And for that purpose, Alhamdulillah, we opened a school, Islamic International School, where we teach Arabic to the children from the age of three. We teach English and Arabic. And we teach A for Apple, B for Ball, A for Allah, B for Bismillah. Along with that, we teach Min Alif Asadun, Min Ma Baitun, Min Tatu Fahun. So they learn Arabic and English together. And Alhamdulillah, by the time they reach third, fourth, fifth standard, Alhamdulillah, they can understand Quran directly. They learn Lugha Fasa. And all my three children, I have a son who's about 12 and a half years old, a daughter 10 and a half years old, and another daughter about 8 years old. Alhamdulillah, all can speak Loga Fasa. And you read or recite any Quranic verse, Alhamdulillah, and they can immediately translate the Quranic verse, Alhamdulillah. And my son, he has almost completed the Quran, Alhamdulillah. And his Qarat is better, much better in the position that we are. So the best gift a parent can give to the child is the Quran and we teach him Arabic as a language so that you can understand the last and final guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. And we should make it a practice in the offices that whenever our employee, when they come to the office, they should say the Quran. In all our foundation, in Islam Christian Foundation, in our school, it's compulsory that all the employees, the moment they come in, first they have to swipe the time chip card, so the attendance is taken. Immediately, they have to read at least 15 minutes the Quran along with the translation. People may think, you know, we have a few hundred employees. Few hundred employees, every day, 15 minutes, a loss of thousands of dollars. But actually, it's a benefit. Whether it's a business, whether it's an organization, your staff learns to be honest. And it's preferable, it's better, he will give better output. Alhamdulillah. All the Muslims should see to it that at the workplace, they should make it compulsory. In the family, we should see to it that we read the Quran daily, whether it be after Fajr Salah, whether it be after Isha, whichever is convenient time, the family, the father, the mother, the children get together, and one of them can recite the Quran and one can read the translation, so that it's a family reading of the Quran. This way, it will encourage all of them to understand the Quran better, and come closer to the Quran and relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it will increase alhamdulillah and we will come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Jazakallah khair Dr. Zakir